And in October, the Jewish houses did no longer protect the people that were there. Uh, my parents uh, were able to um, get the Wallenberg protection papers. Uh, Raoul Wallenberg, under the Swedish uh, king, was able to protect and save a lot of people. They were designated Swedish houses, protectorates, where um, they claimed that Jews could be saved. And we did go to such a house uh, for one night, and they had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. I don't know how many, but my parents decided that they were just too many Jews under one roof, and if, if the Germans really wanted to get rid of a whole bunch at a time, we would be better off going somewhere else where it would be not so obvious that we're together. I think that night that we left our home in October was the first time that I was really scared, and I think that was the experience that, um, as a young adult, stayed with me for a long time. I was very attached to a pillow that I carried. Uh, we had no suitcases to take with us because we had to travel light. Uh, we were dressed, all of us, in several layers of clothes so as to have some warmth and have some change. And I did take my pillow. And uh, I also had long, long hair. I had long braids, which were cut in case uh, the sanitary facilities were non-existent and that I shouldn't get lice. And I remember asking my parents, um, where are we going to sleep that night? And my parents said, we didn't know. We were just hoping that somebody would take us in. And I said, but we have to have a bed. We have to sleep. And that was really very upsetting. And as I said, that took me a long time. I always like to know where I'm going to sleep. I don't like just to go. I have to know where my bed is going to be. And we went uh, to somebody's house who took us in for one night that night. And again, everybody whispered, and it was really scary.